Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a plated dessert. It's inspired by a classic flavor pairing, oranges and cream. It's a brown butter orange cake that I'm going to serve with um, orange segments, ice cream, you'll see the whole cake and caboodle. First to start off with our brown butter. So just take some butter, about an ounce of butter, put it in a pot, get out of there. There you go. And I'm going to allow this to basically caramelize. <clears throat> Second step, I'm going to segment the oranges that we're going to put both in our cake and also have it on our dessert plate for a garnish. So I used the whole entire orange, but I used the zest to go on the streusel topping that you'll see later on. I used the orange pieces for the cake and then the juice I'm going to use to make a syrup to also go on the plate as well. I already zested some oranges already, so now I'm just going to show you how to segment it. And a fancy term for this would be orange supreme. Um, it's basically just segmented oranges. So I'm going to follow the natural curve of the orange all the way around. Okay. So now that's all gone, the outer skin, uh, you're going to go ahead and you'll see it's kind of like connected together uh, by tissue, I guess, for lack of a better word. You are just going to go in between the flesh, like this, in between the segments, and just cut in between there. So you have nice, clean segments of oranges that we're going to use in our cake and on our plate for garnish. So what we're gonna do with the juice is just squeeze it into this bowl and that's what we're gonna do, use to make our syrup, our orange syrup to put on the plate. It's a nice pretty garnish. So yeah, get all that juice out. So now it's golden. You want it a little bit darker than that, not too much. You gotta be careful because it goes from brown to burnt very easily. But basically when you're doing this, you don't want to go too far. You want to stay in the same general area. And you're, you're waiting for that nice nutty smell to fill the air. And once it gets to that point where you start smelling it, you know that it's about ready. So that I don't know if you could see the color of that. That's about what we want there. I'm going to add my powdered sugar, all-purpose flour, almond flour. Super easy dessert. All right, what's that together? I'm going to add egg whites. that together so just like so and then lastly we're gonna add in our brown butter just like that all right and then last but not least our oranges just like that give it a nice mix beautiful then we're going to put it into our designated molds. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop it up because I find it's the easiest way. These little ring molds you can find on Amazon or JB Prince. Alright. Just mix it up evenly between the three molds. I want to make sure that I'm evenly distrib distributing, distributing the, uh, <laughs> the oranges. Whoa, I'm a single, single. Things they want they to be. I like to sing while I'm cooking. Ah, okie dokie. And then I'm going to finish it off with an orange streusel that I did earlier. Super simple, it's just equal parts of brown, um, sugar, flour, um, and butter. And then do a little cinnamon to taste and a little bit of orange zest.
Ah. Gonna put this in the oven for 350. Uh, about 20 minutes, 15. Check it after 10. Rotate it if you need to rotate it. And give it another 5 to 10 minutes. Alright? Put it in your oven. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so now it's time to plate my dessert. I have my cakes that are out of the oven. I like to serve this dessert warm, the cake at least, against the cold ice cream because it gives a nice contrast in temperature, uh, mouthfeel, and all that good stuff. So this is what my orange syrup looks like after I've done cooked it. So this is just the orange juice, fresh squeezed orange juice, a little bit of sugar, and I finished it off with some orange liqueur. Okay. I have a little cookie cutter here. It's about two inches in um, diameter that I'm going to decorate my plate with. So I kind of just dip it in the syrup. And of course, obviously, you're not going to be this fancy, but I want to. And I'm going to... Dip it onto my plate here. You may have to do it a couple of times so I could show. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Just like that. So it kind of gives that like rim stain look to it. Alright, and then I'm going to put my cakes. I'm a little biased. And then I'm going to put my orange segments along here and a little bias as well a little more if you want why not one more these are just orange chips basically it's just orange that I, I i i sliced really thinly dipped it in a little bit of simple syrup so basically it's equal parts of water and sugar cook it until all the sugar is dissolved and nice and syrupy and then i lay it on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. I think you can use wax paper too. It's a little easier to find in the supermarkets. And let it dry out in the oven at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And I let that dry for about two hours. For an hour, I have it on one side, flip it over the other side for another hour. If you have a dehydrator at home, that's a lot easier. And so yeah, and I have blood oranges here and regular navel oranges. I like the blood orange because I like the color of it. It's just this really pretty red color. So I'm just going to put it here. On the side, there's a little decor, decor, and I have my ice cream, but I actually have basil ice cream in my fridge. Ask me when I have basil ice cream. Um, a little recipe testing. I happen to like basil, like, and it really has a nice play with the, the citrus, so. But obviously, traditionally, be for the creamsicle flavor, it would be the oranges and vanilla. So yeah, I don't know if you could see that. I'm basically just going the shape, doing the shape of the spoon. Like that. And then I'm just putting it there along the sides of my cake. Just like that. Right in there. And you're all done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, let's taste it, right? <laughs> Oh, that would be nice. The cake. Mm. It's really good. Mm. It's like a blown up creamsicle. That is really good. Alright, I'm gonna eat the rest of this off. You may not know my name, but by the time I leave, you'll remember the B to the O to the B. And every single dot that's in between. And every time I hop up in the scene, I'm feeling like I'm better than my foe. I'm ready for whatever. If you feel me, let me know. Cause I just wanna flow. I got up in this game trying to prove that I'm better than my foe. But I don't even sweat it in them hoes.